I got something uh, pretty great. Can't believe it. I'm, I'm tempted to show it off, but I'll have to show off everything if I do it. Uh, I have an unhealthy obsession, Chad. An unhealthy obsession with old video game standees. Not all standees, but if there's one thing that I have a collection of, it's a lot of Sega Saturn games. It's like fighting game memorabilia, jackets and stuff. I like that a lot, but it's also old standees. So I shared this on Twitter because I picked this up the other day. And I, I think, I think I'll just like start bringing these over just to show you guys. Hold on a second. So I grabbed this earlier today and I was like, damn, this is in good condition. I picked it up on eBay. There's very few of these I don't have anymore. And I got to get a Power Stone one and a Power Stone two one. And then I will have the majority of these Capcom standees, but check this out. And this thing is in amazing condition. So this is a literal piece of cardboard from 1998. An actual piece of cardboard from 1990. This is the official promotional standee for Rival Schools. Um, there's another one. There is another one of these. It's actually Tiffany from Rival Schools in a giant standee uh, that I don't have. But that's a very big one, right? And I've kind of debated getting that, but it's, it's massive. Um, these countertop ones are kind of special to me. Uh, so here's the thing. I've been collecting a lot of these. Hold on a second. So if I go back, like, a bit, uh, it goes all the way back to Super Turbo on the 3DO. Here's the official Super Turbo standee on 3DO. I got lucky because it also came with an empty box of Super Turbo, uh, the 3DO version, which is also still in pretty dang good condition. This was like the old ones, right? The the really this is how really old they get. It doesn't it don't stop there. I'm just yoinking these from over here, chat. There's a there's there's a, there's a few of these. <clears throat> also got third strike. This is the third strike counter stop standy. You know, pretty sick. It's not the big one, but it's pretty good. And then we also got, this one took a while. This one took a long time. Um, Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter. I actually do not know if there even is an X-Men vs. Street Fighter countertop standee. But, you know. Uh, they made these for Fighting Edge games, that's for sure. But I don't know if mm, X-Men vs. Street Fighter was a part of Fighter's Edge uh, before that. I actually do not know. Um, get ready, there's even more. There's even more. Just to round out the, uh, you know, the Capcom collection. Uh, these took a while. These took a while to find. So, like I said, I only have so many of these Capcom standees that I'm missing. And I'm trying to, I'm trying to find it. But dude, you have to ultimately realize these are just pieces of cardboard, you know, that have been sitting around for nearly 25 years. Dreamcast Marvel vs. Capcom. The actual countertop standee. Look how pretty this thing is, dude. So friggin' pretty. I love this one. Um, these are like little art pieces in my opinion, man. I collect weird stuff. And here's a- here's a holy grail. Here's a holy grail. They didn't make an MVC2 for Dreamcast, but they did make an MVC2 standee for PS2. Because obviously the game sold pretty well on Dreamcast. So there's MVC2. Um, in terms of the old Capcom standees, like the old ones, I, I think the only ones that I still need to find are Power Stone and Power Stone 2. The Power Stone 2 one isn't that great. I think I can show you what it looks like. This guy. This dude is increasingly hard to find. Uh, I had one opportunity to get it, and I didn't bid high enough. So it uh, it escaped my grasp. But here's the Power Stone Sandy. Very tough to find. And here is the Power Stone 2 Sandy. Also very tough to find. It's got Ryoma on the front, right? Very, very tough to find. How much did these things cost? <clears throat> I prefer not to talk about it. Okay. And here's the thing. I, I bought the majority of these 
uh, a long time ago. Nothing over $1,000. There's only... Actually, no. Expensive one was full gore back here. This, and I've made a thing about this, this nine foot tall standee. Uh, I think Fulgore, when I got him back in 2015, was about 800, but he's huge, right? It's literally massive. Somebody's asking me, do you have any Tekken ones? Oh boy. Look at that. Check that out, dude. So dope. Classic Heihachi Tekken 2. So dope. I just won't even take care of cardboard pieces. You just don't mangle them. <clears throat> don't leave them in sunlight and don't mangle them. That's it. You know? And some of them are obviously beat up because <clears throat> it's just going to happen, but you just... You can't destroy them. You just have to be super careful with this shit. However, you think these can be faked? Yes, 100%. They can be faked, but it's very easy to tell a fake. <clears throat> it's very easy to tell because the... The quality of it <clears throat> will be obvious, and the cardboard used on the back is the same throughout all of them. They, they use the same printer for the old ones, right? So it's pretty easy to tell what's real or not. Uh, fake cardboard or brand new cardboard is super obvious, dude. That Rival Schools one I showed was in really good condition, but it had signs of wear and tear of it being 20 years old, even though it was obviously, like, obviously held in a, a, a sleeve or some shit, you know? Metal Gear VR missions, but damn, look at that standee though, bro. Damn, dude. So dope. I absolutely love it. I love it. Here's one uh, that literally takes two, sorry, three massive batteries that I think it's even dead right. It takes three fat ass batteries. <laughs> And his eyes light up. Right here. His eyes actually light up. Look at that shit. So dope. These are like art pieces in my opinion, man. I love them. Just a couple of my favorites of all time. Check that out, man. This is the European RE4. Because this was the cover of RE4 in, in Europe. Crazy sick, you know. This one took a while. I, I still want the larger version of this. Hell yeah, brother. Hell. Hell yeah. So, yeah. I, I kind of like both these games, you know? I kind of like both of them. And here's one that I think is just cool looking. Although I'm not a huge fan of the game, I just love the way this standee looks. Jets on radio! Very relevant nowadays, right? Very relevant. And... Da 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 da! Hell, hell yeah, man. Look how cool this one is. I friggin' love- I have an unhealthy obsession, chat. Um, here's what I feel bad about. I've seen tabletop or I'm sorry uh, countertop standees for nights literal Sega Saturn nights and I didn't bid high enough for it man I lost it years ago it never showed up again these things are so friggin hard to find dude gotta have an FF7 remake one it was actually sent to us when FF7 remake first came out so you know sick right gotta have it right gotta have it so anyway, yeah, and you might even see back there that's the Soul Calibur 2 GameCube standee I got not that long ago. I didn't even find those, although those standees are pretty cool. You just gotta, like, keep your eye out, dude. Like, eBay, Etsy, you know? You just literally have to keep your eye out for this kind of stuff. It's, they show up very infrequently, but when they do, you just gotta, like, woof, gotta jump in there and get it. And are they gonna be cheap? Sometimes they are, and sometimes they're definitely not. Sometimes they are. Definitely not. Any SNK stuff? Uh, there isn't a whole bunch of countertop stuff for SNK in the US. There might be some, uh, some, but not a lot. Not not a lot of the older stuff from the 90s, you know? I mean, FF11 standee? Uh, it's not a uh, standee, but. 
I've had this for a very long time. It's in rough condition, though. But I've had this for a very long time, dude. I don't even know if that's official. I've just had that for a very long time. I'll show you the uh, the one that I'm missing that is the very large scale rival school standee. Check this out. It's kind of like, it's a very eye-catching, quote unquote. It's a very eye-catching standee, if you get my drift. Five feet tall, and it looks like this. So, you know, it might not be the most appropriate standee ever, <laughs> you know? It's a very powerful standee, they say. I had a couple of opportunities to get this one, but, you know, just never got it. I just never eventually picked it up. I really want this one. This one's hard to find, dude. You'll see stuff like these show up, but this is fan-made. These are not original. They're fan-made. I had this one. This is what initially got me into my standee in because I worked at a store when uh, when we were like giving these away. You remember this, right, honey? Remember this one? Here, check this out. That fell apart. I had this. The standee was like life size, man. It was big. So it was a Grandia 2 standee from the Dreamcast. And another one that I had, which I loved. Uh, I love this standee. I'd love to get another one of these standees. Standee was massive, dude. This guy was big. And I, I remember taking down the background and just using gin. I had this up in my, my previous room like 20 years ago. It's like a massive standing gin Tekken 4 standee. It was huge. I loved it. I, I was the one that took it home. Look at this shit, man. Look how cool this is. This actually hangs. And this one. This ended up selling. How much do you think that this countertop standee for nights ended up selling for? The last time it was available. Yep. Already called it, 1200 bucks. Sold for $1,200. It's like, yay big. I think I went up to 700 and I'm, I'm like, I'm getting this shit, dude, don't worry. I got this. I, and this, this is so infrequent, right? So insanely infrequent. But I, I thought 700, yeah, I got this. You know, I don't, I don't buy crazy stuff all the time. I don't buy statues and things all the time. I can do this, I got it. Didn't even get it. I didn't even get it. I was like, this would be amazing, but this ain't showing up anytime soon. That's a Virtua Fighter in Japan standee. That that ain't showing up anytime soon. Here's a crazy one. Yeah, Event Hub's had this. I think uh, Dream King got a hold of this. Check out this one, chat. Oh my god, dude. So incredibly sick. Crazy. Crazy standee. He's huge, too. Oh my god, bruh. Oh, dude. KI Game Boy? I don't even... I I didn't even know this existed. Oh, this is fucking sick. And it's got the wrong color Jago as well. Oh, this is fucking sick. See, I have another Fulgore. You know, hold on a second. I'll, I'll see if I can show you. This is the original screen print of a Killer Instinct cover they made back in 1997. Crazy, right? This just stays in here. Got the artwork directly from Kevin Bayless, and he sent it over, you know? I'll just keep that in here. So here's one that I never actually put together. This requires some assembly, but you can probably imagine what it is. You can probably imagine what it is. It's a Soul Calibur 1 standee, but I just haven't put it together. It's a Soul Calibur 1 standee from Japan. Here's one that I picked up a while ago. So you guys know, like, the Fulgore Sandy, right there? There it is again. Just smaller. It's supposed to hang. Right? So here's the mini Fulgore Sandy. It's still friggin' huge, right? It's still massive. It's like two and a half feet. And again, this is one of my personal uh, favorite games of all time. Although its Sandy is a little cumbersome because it has no back and it's mostly meant to, like, float on a counter? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, brother. And here's one that I, I think I got in, uh, in a mail time. Soul Calibur 5 standee. Actual countertop. Doesn't have any 3D elements to it. It's mostly an informational standee, you know? So it's only okay. Here's one I get. So sometimes you have to buy some of these standee collectible things in, um, in, like, bundles. So this isn't, I, I like just collecting the shit I like, right? So this isn't one I normally would be like, oh yeah, let's fucking go. Um, it isn't. 
but <laughs> pretty sick, man. Anybody else insanely hyped for this game back when it came out? And it's actually a stand-up too. It actually is a stand-up. A few things here and there. I guess I'll just give you guys the full standy, the, the mega size standies. Hold on a second. Here's a big one. Get the chur out of the way. Here's a big one. Uh, Soul Calibur 2 GameCube. Multi-sided. Right. Just the massive ass Soul Calibur on the side. But it's the GameCube one, right? It's literally the best one, bro! It's actually the best one, because it's got Link's face on it. Come on. This was another one that was gifted to me. When Final Fantasy VII Remake came out. There is the uh, official uh, Seven Remake standee. Yeah, there we go. That's the good shit. Make sure it's pinned down. Dope, right? That's cool. It's got a flat bottom. I got this one back in 2014 for $150. Lucked out, bro. Hella lucked out. Original GameCube RE4. Super lucked out. Like, now this goes for upwards of like a thousand bucks. I had to peel this one out of the hallway, Chad. God damn. This one sits in my home. It was gifted to me by Bojack. He's in the chat. But Animusha 3 Demon Siege. Old school PS2 standee. And now, what you've all been waiting for. What you've all been waiting for. The meme is real. Devil May Cry 3, now featuring Dante. Well, anyway, that's the first time I've ever actually sh gotten to show off all of those collectibles, dude. Uh, all that stuff in, in person? Yeah, I'll probably turn that into a video because at some point, somebody's gonna start asking. <laughs>